Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Taina if you're new here. And today I have another perfume to review. It is called Burberry Brit. This is the EDP version. I've had this perfume, I cannot tell you guys for how long. I don't even know when I picked this one up, but it has been less than a year for sure. Less than a year and look at that dent. I want to get this perfume reviewed and out of the way before it is an empty perfume bottle. So I'm going to talk about my experience with it, of course, and then I'm going to give you my rating. And yeah, so let's start. Burberry Brit EVP. This was a love at first sniff. I bought this because I believe I smelled it either in the mall or somebody that I knew had it and I loved it. I was just like, I have to have that. So I bought it online and I'm very happy I, I have this perfume. I'm very happy I bought this perfume. However, it does something weird on my skin. So it turns like a little bit sour, I noticed there's something in here that doesn't really work with my skin chemistry and this is the first time I've ever experienced that with a perfume and it sucks because I genuinely enjoy this scent a hundred percent like fast forward years later I picked it up like I said I don't regret it but there's something about it that doesn't really react too well with my skin so I still wear it but I wear it a lot in my hair I wear it a lot on my clothes because the scent does last and it'll last longer if you do have it on material like if you put it on fabric it'll last longer and if you put it in your hair it will last longer than skin so it's a win-win for me because I don't get that weird um, the weird concoction that it ends up turning into once it touches my skin I also have amber elixir by Oriflame that has an almond note but this one was the first one I tried with almond and let me just tell you guys I know I like almond fragrances now uh, I've always liked almonds and what really drew me to this is candied almond so it has a note of candied almond in there and do you guys know some of those little kiosks in the mall that have um it's usually around the holidays that they they will give you a cone filled with like pecans or almonds with sugar on them roasted this is what it's giving mm. it's very powdery very fresh and it's also fruity so you guys this perfume is just so versatile you can tell by the dent i pick this up way too often because it's just so versatile i really 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 like this perfume the smell of it it is just perfect for me i find it i find it to be very much appealing and it's not strong it's not overdone and i guess that's expected because it's um designer fragrance it's not like a niche house it's not going to be this bombastic explosion of a weird scent no this is normal alluring um, powdery slightly fresh with that candied almond nuttiness and oh my goodness you guys this is really good for everyone to have in their collection i would recommend this one i'm gonna rate it right now i'm gonna rate it a nine out of ten the reason I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because of how it reacts on my skin but it gets honestly the scent itself gets a 10 out of 10 for me because it's that perfect let's start with the accords so that you guys can get a feel for what I am explaining in this perfume okay the accords are sweet vanilla fruity almond citrus nutty amber floral fresh and powdery then the top notes are almond lime pear candied apple sugar peony vanilla tonka bean amber and mahogany you guys 
this perfume like i said gets a 10 out of 10 for the scent 9 out of 10 for wearability this is your perfect signature scent it can be used on a day-to-day -day basis for work for errands for school maybe it's a little bit too light for date night or to get into those intimate moments you're going to want something a little bit heavier with some more lasting power but this is just going to be your more easy to pick up easy to grab fragrance whenever you're just not in the mood for anything too heavy too strong too cloying i find this to be fresh and i'm not a freshie this has the perfect um, balance of freshness with sweetness if you know what i mean so i prefer that sweet aspect in perfumes i like sweet woody notes um amber like i like that amber quality to be brought out with a lot of fruits and this is giving that but it's also giving extremely clean so i do put this one on right after the shower this one and both of these have almond and i find that both of these i wear right out of the shower they just have something clean fresh and powdery about them but this one in particular is a lot sweeter a lot more delicious gourmand than amber elixir is so when it comes to the accords i'm going to try to tell you guys if i can pick up anything it's definitely sweet i can smell vanilla I think the accords are pretty much on point. I don't get citrus. I would say that citrus note is probably what does make me want to put it on right after the shower because I know citrus is like a, it's a clean note. Very clean, very zesty. But I'm getting amber, I'm getting fresh and powdery. Amber fresh powder with the almond of course it's like a nutty bomb of fresh sweetness and amber i would repurchase this perfume because of how much i wear it like it, it's just come on come on it's not even that expensive it's a good designer perfume in my opinion there may be better ones but i've smelled a couple and this set right here is more me it's my set profile that i enjoy therefore i'm gonna give it a really good rating i'm gonna say this is a designer perfume that is worth it to buy if you're into powdery amber fresh and nutty you gotta like nutty scents and you're gonna probably enjoy this is it a safe blind buy i would say yes i would say yes People are gonna want this like it's, it's not terrible believe me um now out of the notes when it comes to the notes i do pick up on the almond and i pick up i pick up on the pear very strongly the pear note in this perfume is almost like the star of the show it's pear with almond so yeah it's so good it really is this is a fantastic scent i just think it's so versatile it's so easy to wear for every occasion i don't even think it has an age limit i can see a 40 year old rocking this i can see a 50 year old rocking this because it's got that um that fresh powdery vibe that can throw it to that more mature side but yet because it's got that um, that fresh powdery vibe that can throw it to that more mature side but yet it's got that sweet vanilla note making it also youthful for the younger crowd so this one is great especially for gift giving I like to say if you don't want this perfume for yourself but you know someone who's interested in almonds and pears and fresh perfumes this may be a perfect gift for them so watch out for that 
Back to the notes, what do I pick up? I pick up on the tonka bean and the vanilla. It's a dreamy scent. This is a scent that I, I can wear to bed, I can wear out of the shower. I can honestly wear this one 24 seven. But then again, I have to be careful on my skin because you guys know, like I said, it turns a little bit weird, a little sour. Anyways, I think I do pick up on the mahogany. Now, mahogany is not a note that I'm familiar with, but I'm just going to assume that it is this sweet woody note in there that it's like this rich wood. Mm -hmm. It's a rich, sweet, bougie wood. And I, I don't know, I really like this perfume, you guys. Like, I'm so, I'm being so serious right now. Okay, the perfumes I get happy about are the ones I obviously wear the most. And if I don't wear a perfume at all, then I'm also really obsessed with it because I don't want to use it. Like, sometimes I go all the way in or I am very hesitant to go all the way in. <clears throat> and I have a couple that I'm very hesitant to go all the way in like I do with this one <laughs> usually I go in on the cheaper ones and then the ones that I really really like that are more expensive I I wear those very lightly I don't wear them as often even though I'm obsessed with the scent one of uh, um, one example would be flower bomb nectar another example would be Olympia intense I love the scent like both of those scents are just mind-blowingly amazing for me and I could wear them every day but I choose not to because I have this <laughs> so this is what I use in replacement this is my filler perfume for the days that I don't want to spray on my expensive uh, flower bomb nectar or Olympia intense this would be my go-to I have received compliments on this perfume. This is a big deal for me because I have had this perfume for a little while and you know when you get compliments and you're at the start of your perfume journey it's a big deal and you're like oh my god like people notice people enjoy the scent so that was a confirmation green flag that this one is you know mass appealing and you kind of do want mass appealing fragrances if you're going to be wearing them out often around a crowd around friends you don't want to smell like ass you don't so just make sure that you're wearing something wearable exciting enticing it could be sophisticated it could be playful but just make sure that it's not offensive this is not offensive at all by any means. It's just perfect. Um, but what I will say is that I got complimented on it when I mixed it with Tender Romance. Now, Tender Romance is discontinued. It's by Ralph Lauren. And oh my God, like, should I just get into this real quick? Whenever I mix the two, whenever I mixed these two perfumes together, they create something so magical. It smells like an apple pie literally out of McDonald's. It just smells so spicy, like um, like a spicy cookie, a spicy apple pie. It's just so good. And it's this one. It, this was one I did like my first video on. Yeah, I made my, oh my god. So, if you have this perfume, you're in luck. This perfume's discontinued. Tender Romance is also like one of my favorite scents. Now, if you mix these two, oh my god. You have just experienced something magical. Oh my god, this one's very, very sweet. The Tender Romance gives the Burberry Brit an added sweetness while the Burberry Brit gives this one a nuttiness to that tropical vibe it's just perfect perfect combo right here but another one that goes well 
is this one by Oriflame. Like I said, they both have an almond note and you can wear them together. I actually wrote down why it's good to layer these together because it was an experience. I'm not even capping. Like, okay. So the opening of this, the opening of Burberry Brit EDP is like this um, bergamot, fruity, nutty, opening and then the pear dissipates and it turns to a sugary sweet with a hint of floral but it stays extremely close to the skin which is why we layer perfumes to bring out some of those notes to bring out some of the accords and really have you smelling good all day to make your fragrance last you either have to spray it in your hair in your clothes or layer perfumes to really bring out the essence okay and that's what we're doing on this channel so it's good to overspray this one and take it with you have it in your purse i love the dry down of this because it just turns super nutty and amber elixir has the almond notes so when you combine the two the dry down is even more projecting than when you only have one on so the two of them together will make your scent last longer uh, I noticed that the combination brings out the nuttiness to the extreme. You end up with a very baked, sweet, nutty smell. If you do own both of these fragrances and you're going to layer them, if you use more of the Burberry Brit, you'll end up with a fruitier, muskier almond scent. But if you spray more of the Amber Elixir on, you will end up with a floral, amber, nutty scent. I find both of these to be bad on performance, so they're great for layering. That was my whole little spiel that I went through that day. Those are the little things that I picked up on while I wore the two of them. So there you have it, you guys. That honestly is my overall review on it. I rate it 10 out of 10 on scent, 9 out of 10 wearability. I would repurchase this perfume. It's easy, perfect to grab for every season, any weather, any occasion. <sighs> I only have good things to say about this one right here. And yeah, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like this perfume if you have it? Have you layered it with anything else? What is this one good to layer with? Because I love knowing that. I love to know like what combinations you guys use with your perfumes if you're using certain lotions with this and it really makes it strong let me know yes if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like please subscribe and i will catch you all next time